Hi guys, Trev here with another episode of Mac in 10 or less. Today we will be reviewing a file sharing system that is really fast and easy to use. And the thing I love about this file sharing program is the person who's receiving your files does not have to be a member or have their own account on through this program. So it makes it really easy to share photos, videos, Word documents, PowerPoints, anything you want with someone who maybe isn't quite as computer literate as you. For example, grandma and grandpa, you're trying to share photos with them. You just use this program and it's really easy. They, they'll get it every time, I promise. So the name of the app is Zeospace. Down here we can see their system requirements is OS X 10.6 or later. And then if we scroll down more, we can see user ratings. Out of almost 200 ratings, we have 144 five-star rating, so that is really good. People are really liking this app. Um, it is available in the App Store, but I'm going to ask you to hold off on that for now, and you can download it straight through their website, and there's a reason for that we're going to get to here in a second. So we will launch the program, and it is Zio Space, and when we launch it, you can notice nothing happens. So where is it? Well, the program did launch and it is up here in the top of your toolbar. This little icon is the Zio Space icon. And if we click it, we can see um, a link to their website, which is right here. So here's their website. Oh, let's scroll back up. So here's their website. Um, you can do a login, do all sorts of things. We're going to minimize that for now and I'm going to show you how to use the program. So let's say I have a picture or a video or anything that I want to send to my aunt or uncle or someone. Here is a picture of a little adorable puppy that we're going to send. So I'm going to grab my picture and just drag it up on top of the Zio space icon. And now we can see we have two options. We have a share option and a backup option. So I'm going to click it into share and it creates this link you can see. So what happens is it took that folder, uploaded it to the Zeospace servers and put it on a web page and gave you the link to view that web page. So now we're going to do that by coming to a browser and we're just going to enter the link and push enter. We're going to let it load and there it is. Now let's say we're on the we're on another computer somewhere and we want this image. I'm going to come over here and just click download. Boom. It went straight to my downloads folder right here. And it showed up in this preview window which automatically opened for me right here. So now grandma and grandpa, they've got your image and it took them just one click. So that is really easy to use. Uh, if you have your own Zeospace account and a friend sends you a link, uh, you have some more options like save to my Zeospace um, and recently viewed shares. Uh, we'll get into that here in just a little bit. So when you go to their website, you're going to uh, want to download Zeospace for your Mac or I do believe it's available on Windows PCs also. I'm going to log in to my Zeospace first and I prefer to log in with my Facebook and that way I don't have to create a brand new username or password every time I, I want to start an account with a new program because then I'd have hundreds of usernames and passwords. So once we get into it, there's a few tabs here on the left. There's a knowledge tour, files, shares, trash can, help center and we're going to start with the knowledge tour because it's basically a tutorial walkthrough of the program. So to install the desktop client you probably have already done that or uh, if you haven't and you started your own account first then you'll come to here click this on the right hand side it'll walk you through how to install it really really easy the next step is to take a screenshot so we're gonna do that right now by following these instructions and so basically uh, you can read this or you can just do what I'm going to do and so you will click on the icon in your toolbar you'll come down here to take a screenshot or share a screen area, either one. Screenshot, screenshots your entire screen. Share a screen area allows you to highlight just a portion of your screen that you want to share, so I'll do that one. I'm going to click that, and I'm going to start up here in the corner and drag across all of this. 
it's going to automatically take a picture and upload it to Zeospace and give me a link. So it's already copied. So if I come over here and I open a new tab and I paste in the tab, and it will show us the screenshot that I just took, which is right there. So we were on step two. We just did that. It should be crossed off now. And we're going to go on to step three. So let me close this. So step three, share a file. And that is what we did the very first time with our puppy. So let's minimize this window. Grab our puppy and come up here and share. We'll share it a second time. That's OK. Uh, so we got a second link for it. We'll reopen. Thank you. And what is next? To back up a file. So we're going to basically do the same thing. Grab our picture, bring it up here, and back up a file. Instead of the share option, we're going to do the backup option. Let go. And it's going to load for a second. And boom. So entirely backed up. That didn't take too long. And so when it backs up a file, it goes to your Zeospace. It goes on the Zeospace servers in here under files, under backups. I can see. Here it is. It's backed up. It's always going to be there. Uh, it takes up five kilobytes worth of size, so not very. That's really small. If you know anything about computers, you'll know that's pretty small. Um, I can download it. I can share it, get a share link, I can move it to a different folder, or I can delete it, and I got this menu by just right-clicking on it. So let's go back up and complete the knowledge tour. And so the last thing is to upload photos in your browser. So this is really easy. What we're just going to do is go to Files, and we're going to click Upload right here in the top left upload and I'm going to use this puppy photo like I have been using and choose and boom it just shot right up there and here it is so there's my upload and now you should be done you got your plus nine gigabytes of free space now you have a full 10 gigabytes of free space just like I do and if you want more you can come down to here and get more space and they are gonna charge a little bit for more space um, but still pretty good, pretty cheap, and for most of us, 10 gigabytes is going to be more than enough. You can see, you can put over 4,000 photos, over 1,000 tracks, um, audio tracks in there, up to five movies, so pretty good for most of us, especially if you do maintenance and you clean out what you don't need anymore after, you need, after you're done with it. So I'll just go over that real quick. Um, in here, we can go to our shares. I have a ton of shares in here from doing all these demos. Maybe I just want to delete one, so I'll right click it and click delete. Maybe I want to delete three, so I'll check off three of them and right click and delete three. Now when you delete files, you'll have to go into your trash can and they'll still be in here. So again, I can permanently delete them one at a time or I can check them all off and permanently delete all three of them. So I'm going to do that and so I just freed up my space for more files. So this is a really great app, guys. I love it, it's super easy to use. You don't even need to have your, your browser open. You just come up here and do a share and now you got a little link and you can email that link to your grandma and grandpa or you can put it in a chat, you can put it on your Facebook, you can do whatever you want. So really pretty great system to use definitely go check it out. If you want more information on the system, check out my website. Um, I have a nice nice detailed article written about Zeospace and what all they offer. So check it out. And thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.